What is up everybody, it's your boy Chubbs, welcome back to another video. So what we got going on today? Today we're actually going to be heading to uh, the garage with um, with a garage guy because guess what? My cam parts have arrived and we're going to go check them out. Um, if you guys been watching the video, guys, you, you guys know that I finally bought a cam for the the Denali clone. We're gonna um, we're gonna be camming the, the Sierra finally after like me waiting two years to buy a cam and everything. But there's something else we're gonna do, but I'm not gonna tell you guys until we get to the shop. All right, guys, looks like we're gonna be taking uh, one of the Silverados because the the truck's battery is dead and I don't feel like jumping it right now. But you guys are still gonna see all the cam parts, so let's go. We also just got some mail. I already opened it, but here. Here it is. Check out my boy's Instagram. Go buy some of his stickers. These are gonna go on the on the on the board. Hell yeah! Look at that. Shh. Clean ass Sierra. Oh shit! That's what he said. Big ol' chubs. Big ol' chubs? Yeah, you about to be in a vlog. Go check out my cam guys. Freaking packed here. Alright guys, so I've never bought a cam kit before. So I'm freaking excited to be finally freaking checking one out and and uh seeing how it looks. I've never I've never held a camshaft in my life before. So let's 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 see what we got. Look, here's this guy over here. This guy. You learn something new every day, buddy. Apparently, apparently you Super cannot good. remove this motor with the water pump still attached. Maybe you can. But maybe not on these models. Yeah, just a little tight. Didn't know that. And I've installed the water pump on the other. All right, Nate, so I think uh, everybody watching right now and myself came to look at the cam parts. What? Where's the parts? Hey, man, I thought you came to hang out. And now it's about you, your cam. You know what? Fuck it, man. Let's show you your cam parts. And just bounce, okay? Well, I've already been standing here for 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Hey. <laughs> You've been playing with your gimbal the whole time. <laughs> Getting set up. Let's check it out, guys. Let's check it out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. Let me see the shaft. Does that make your mouth what water? The <laughs> it's the right color. Jesus. There she is, man. Custom cut just for you. Can I hold it? I've you never held a shaft before. Cam shaft, yeah. Holy shit. 
the cam card right there. Here's your sticker. So say thank you, Bob, Cam Motion Cams. Shout out to Bob from Cam Motion. Yeah, this thing's got a pretty tight lobe separation angle, man. It's gonna, it's gonna rock. It's gonna be a pretty big cam, actually, dude. It's not it looks gonna. Looks like it. It's no joke, man. But check it out. Look at all the stuff we got. Let's see if we can find your spring kit. Bro. Probably in there. Oh yeah, man. I'm just gonna destroy the box. But it's all about the stickers. Look at all those stickers. Oh. All right, I'm Ooh. sure everybody in the comments is gonna be asking what cam this is. So, uh, okay, you wanna hear? Tell them whatever that? you can. Okay, so basically this is a completely one-off custom grind. And initially my vibe was that I wanted to deliver like probably the highest naturally aspirated horsepower Gen 3 5.3 in the area. And so I was gonna do an extremely massive cam and mill the shit out of some older truck heads that are CNC ported to bring the compression through the roof. Even had to account for that amount of milling by shortening the push rods. But in talking with Bob, uh, we kind of met in the middle. He's a lot more conservative. He's, he's my guy at Cam, Cam Motion. And we came up with something that is gonna provide the perfect balance, you know? And so this is gonna give a nice top end, good peak power, but the name of the game is gonna be everything under the curve and how hard we get this thing to hit in the mid range. And so we did some customizing in terms of the, the closing event of the intake uh, intake stroke and so uh, this cam is gonna is gonna rock and it's completely customized based on what we're trying to accomplish with Chubbs's uh, vehicle man that's right so this is gonna be interesting I'm really excited about it it's uh, got some really interesting numbers um, definitely not something you can just buy off the shelf but uh, it's gonna bump man this thing is gonna thrash and thump but the main thing is it's gonna run really good and so this is gonna be a combination that absolutely outperforms expectations all right another thing I'm pretty much expecting for someone to ask in the comments which off-the-shelf cam would you compare it to or is this uncomparable well I mean you see the thing is, is I don't do cams based on fancy names or YouTube videos or audio clips um, and so, uh, it's uh, you know, it's it's a healthy, it's a, it's a pretty healthy cam, you know. You you know, I, I really uh, I don't want to give away too much. I think that we should leave the suspense until we're like in the car doing live videos with you just getting sideways. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a really amazing uh, setup. Yeah, we got some custom push rods here. Actually shortened them by 25 thou uh, to get us within the range of what we need to be with the amount of uh, milling we're gonna do. We're also gonna run a, a custom medic head gasket to a specific, very specific uh, thickness because not only are we gonna be increase, increasing the compression a bunch with the ported heads, but uh, we're gonna be improving the quench distance to even further improve the efficiency of the combustion. And so that thing is gonna, it's gonna be awesome, man. Say that word again, ported what? Got some ported cylinder heads for this thing, man. CNC ported, five angle valve job. We're upgrading to LS6 um, valves. So we got, I had some sodium filled valves that came out of some uh, 243s that I had ported. Uh, but we're changing the valves in that head, so I'm throwing them in your head. And uh, I'm gonna have them open up the, the valve seat to the full two inches. And so, with the extreme CNC port job, the custom milling to the head, the custom head gasket, custom cam, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna, do, some, it's gonna do some really good, really good things. It's gonna sound amazing, but more importantly, it's gonna perform. And it's gonna have a big power band. It's gonna come in hard in the mid range and it's just gonna keep going all the way to red line. Oh, yeah, and that's what I didn't tell you guys. Uh, it's gonna be a custom cam and the ported heads. Yep, right now he's doing a motor swap on this uh 07 to what 2013 Silverado. This is a new motor right here. Oh, what? 
well pumps. You wanna tell them where they could uh, contact you for a, a cam? Package, cam package. Probably Instagram. I'll put his Instagram right there. At Garage Guy. Environmental <laughs> nightmare. If you want to, I'll pick it up and put it in. Go for it, man. Wait, huh? We'll put oh, you on me, YouTube. Yeah, Try it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little sweaty. I was outside and it's it's freaking hot outside. It's like bad. It's like 90 something right now. Um, all right, so let's talk about what this video was about. So obviously, you guys saw the cam and everything. We all know the truck's getting cammed, ported heads. Um, there's a few other things like that we're gonna need, little things also. Uh, the another big thing that we're gonna need for this cam swap and this these next mods we're about to do is um, a new intake manifold. So I'm looking for a Trailblazer SS manifold because it is a pretty good upgrade compared to the one I have. So if any of you guys know where I could get one or you guys have one yourself that you're selling, uh, hit me up. I'll I'll gladly take it off your hands. That's if you're in the area. But I'm also looking into the 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 fast LSX ones with the 102 millimeter throttle body but that's freaking expensive so in order for me to get that you guys you guys gotta step up your game on buying merch I'm just kidding but I, I will try my hardest to get one of those and if I don't get it this time I will get it later on because it would be a badass upgrade and it's gonna be aesthetic and everything and the motor is gonna look good with it um, some of you guys, for those of you that have seen my live streams or maybe you weren't there while I was live or you just saw you just saw the video after I posted it, um, I did. Some of you guys did ask me a few questions about the build, about the cam and everything. Somebody asked me if I'm going to change the rear end. It's already 410s. I don't need to upgrade it or anything. Posi 410, fully built by JP Performance. So that's there and that's fine right there. Um... You guys seen the cam, it's a custom cam. I can't really tell you exactly the specs of it yet. I don't have the spec sheet or anything, but we will get to that the day of the install. And I will be live streaming me and Grout Guy uh, working on the motor. And I will get you guys videos of me also getting my hands dirty and learning how to do a cam swap. So that's gonna be badass and I'm super excited for that too. I also do wanna go E85 on, on the Denali clone, but who knows if we're gonna get to do that now but it's better to do it now than later on and have to mess with the motor again but we'll see on that too I hope I answered all the questions you guys have if you guys have more questions feel free to leave a comment leave a question down in the comments and I, I read every single comment good or bad and I try to respond to everybody uh, so leave a question I'll most likely answer you so next thing for the giveaway truck like I've said before is the drop once we do the drop, we're going to put those, the 18s I have, it's going to look clean. And after that, there's not much we need to do to it, just the paint job and be ready to go to one of uh, a lucky crew member. Uh, so if you guys, you guys still have a lot, a lot of time to order some stuff. So why not order some now and then later on down the road before the deadline, get some more merch, get your entries in. Um... I can't really talk about any other person's giveaways or anything, but this one is real. Like, I'm a normal person, I put my money into this, and it's real, 100% real, so 
Uh, I also got a question about if the winner lives in a different state or hours away. Depending on how far you live, um, I would like for you to come here to my house and so we could film in front of my yard with all the trucks together and everything because that's kind of the setting I want for the winter. But if it comes down to it and the person lives really far, they can't come. We'll try to arrange something where I could get the truck delivered to you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to pay for it, but we'll see when the time comes. So that's all I can, that's all the information I can get to you guys right now. But thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thanks to you guys that are watching the live stream. We go crazy. I suck, but it's fun. So check out the next live stream. See you guys in the next video. Can't wait to get the truck cammed. Hope you're ready. Peace out, everybody. TCB. Get your merch. We're going to be doing a summer drop pretty soon. So white tees coming in soon. Peace out, guys.